We know that in similarity, we always call a proportion, right? Two fractions equal each other. So looking at question number one, well, in, instead of looking at this as two triangles, I'm going to look at two sides of one of the triangles. And I'm going to make a fraction out of that. It doesn't matter if we go x over 12 or 12 over x. It does not matter. My case, let me go x over 12. I said, I'm going to look at the two numbers from one side and make a fraction out of it. It doesn't matter which one goes on top. The second fraction, it does matter then. Notice how straight, you know, think of this as 3. Notice how x becomes 12 and 12 becomes 9. So here, I'm going to say x becomes 12 and 12 becomes 9. So that's how I make my second fraction. One thing also I, that I noticed, that here, if we have calculators, we can come and say, well, 9x equals 144. All right, just cross multiply. Divide both sides by 9, and that's your answer, if you have a calculator. But uh, sometimes we depend on those so much that uh, we don't really need those. We can do it this by hand. I can come over and say, well, instead of going uh, cross multiply, let me simplify first. So I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to say, well, 12 over 9, let me call that 4 over 3. And I'm going to simplify first. I can cross multiply now if I wish, but let me simplify even more. 12 over th 12 and 3, let me call that 1 and 4. Because I divided each by 3. Now when I cross multiply, x equals what? 16. And if you guys go 144 divided by 9, it also gives you 16. So what my go my point in here is, do not depend on the calculators all the time, right? If you can simplify, simplify. Sometimes, if you're good at simplifying, sometimes you do it faster by simplifying than by typing it out. And so make sure you guys practice how to simplify as well. Question number two, one of my sides is x and the other side is two. Remember the question marks are called with x. It doesn't matter how we make the fraction. Do you guys want x over 2 or 2 over x? x over 2. All right, so x over 2. Remember I said it doesn't quite matter. But do keep in mind that x becomes 3 and 2 becomes 1. So my second fraction is what? 3 over 1. Remember x became 3, 2 becomes 1. When you cross multiply, x equals what? x equals 6. I just want you guys to focus on what does it become. x became 3, 2 becomes 1. All right, any questions for the first step? Number 5. Number five. All right, on one side, I'm going to use x and 6. I'm always looking for the x, so I'm going to use x and 6. Do you guys want me to write 6 over x or x over 6? Well, I heard 6 over x first. Okay, we'll go for 6 over x. What does 6 become? 4. And what does x become? 14. So we're going to write 4 over 14. That is... 2 over 7, or yeah, 2 over 7. Sideways, 6 and 2, that can be simplified as 3 and 1. So x equals what? 21. x equals 21. For questions like this, um, I can come over and say, instead of the x, I can put the x here. And then you guys will come and say, well, x has to become 10. Some cases, you guys will have to solve for one of the sides. And I know that side is 10 because if the whole thing is 14, part of it is 4, it makes sense that the remaining is 10. So I said sometimes I will ask you to solve for the remaining part. Any other questions for the first step? Less. Okay, let's take a look at question number 8. Looking on uh, where the x is, I have x and 28. What's my first fraction? Three over 
I heard 28 over x. It doesn't matter which one, how we do it, right? If you make a fraction out of it, 28 becomes what? 21. x becomes what? Simplify. I'm going to simplify sideways first. 28 and 21 by 7. Guys, I'm going sideways. So divided by 7, so we're going to have 4 over 3. And then uh, 3 over 9, 1 third. X equals what? X equals 12. Okay. If I had the fraction 21 over 9, 28 over X, if I had the same question, do notice that from 21 to 28, the way that it's done wrong, like the way some people do it wrong, they come and say, well, you add 7. So let me add 7 to the bottom, and obviously they will get the wrong answer. For for a proportion, we never just add. Like the, that, the bottom part, it's wrong. Don't just add. For proportion, we cross multiply. But if I ever tell you guys, 6 becomes 8, so what does 3 become? This is how you do it. 6 becomes 8, so 3 becomes x, cross multiply and solve for x. I said, that's how we do proportion. And that is done a lot when you guys do pictures. A 4 by 6 converts to 8 by 12. So when people print it, it's 8 by 10, so they have to chop some things at the side. That's how pictures are done. That's how your movies are done. They measure the length. They notice that it, each time it keeps on multiplying by a certain number, so they don't put the little screen right next to the big screen. It needs some space. So that's why they do that. All right, so we have this type of questions up until what? Number 14. All right, any questions up until 14? Which one? Number 9, and you said number 10? All right, let me take a look at number 9. One side I have x and 10, right? One side I have x and 10. Let's make a fraction. x over 10, okay? What is x? Keep in mind that x is the whole thing. What does x become on the other side? 6. Perfect. Right? Because it's the whole thing. So x becomes 6. 10 becomes what? 4. See it now? Because X, uh, I'll answer your question right in a minute. Notice how X is the whole thing. So we're looking at the whole thing on the other side, which is 6. So that's why X becomes 6. Tano, you had a question? How do I get 4? Because look at 10. If you follow it straight, 10 becomes 4. So that's how I got the 4 for the, the 10. I think that cross multiplying you guys are good, right? Number 10. All right, for number 10, I'm going to get two numbers. I'm going to get x and 14 from one side. I'm just going to say x over 14. All right, make a, make a fraction out of those two numbers. Notice how x on the other side becomes 20. I'm going to say 14 becomes 8. Notice how the whole thing is 28. Part of it is 20. So I'm going to say the remaining part has to be 8. So that's, that's how I know the 14 becomes 8. The 8, because I noticed that how the whole thing was 28. Notice how the whole thing is 28. Part of it is 20. So the remaining part should be 8. So as I know, 14 becomes 8. Once again, the cross multiplying, we're good. I'm assuming you guys can do that. All right, any other questions up until 14? 13? Right. Looking at 13, I'm going to say from one side, I'm going to get x and 10. You guys want x over 10 or 10 over x? x over 10. 
And then on the other side, what fraction do I get? Twelve over six. So notice how x becomes twelve and ten becomes six. Like look at those as, as if they were straight, a little straight. Right? The cross multiplying is gonna say you, you guys can do that. You don't just add. You well, you will need this side, 18, if you're looking at the entire side over here. If you compared an entire side, what I mean by entire side is both sides combined, if you're looking at both sides combined over here. If you're not, then you don't. Oh. All right. Any other questions up until 14? Now looking at 15, from one of my triangles, I'm going to get x and 2. Do you guys want x over 2 or 2 over x? x over 2. Now my question to you, is x bigger than 2 or x is smaller than 2? x is bigger. If I look at the length, so from the other triangle, make sure you keep the bigger number on top as well. I'm just going to call it 2 over 1. Once again, we went x over 2, x is bigger, right, x is bigger than 2, so make sure that on the other fraction, you keep the bigger side on the top. Cross multiply and x equals 12. Let me take a look at question number um, 16. For one of my triangles, I'm going to get the numbers 9 and x. Do you guys want x over 9 or 9 over x? x over 9. Now, my question to you is x bigger or smaller than 9? Bigger. It's bigger. Right? Look at the length of the side. x is bigger. So make sure on the other fraction you keep the bigger number on top. My numbers are going to be 35 and 21. You guys, are you guys good with my 21? I got the 21? Yeah, because the whole thing was 30. Part of it was 9, so I subtracted it, so that's how we got the 21. Okay, so remember, x over 9, do I get 21 over 35 or 35 over 21? 35 over 21. When um, when you're looking for one of the two smaller numbers, you subtract it. If you were looking for the big number, you had to add. Like for example, the 30 was not there. I was given that 21 this is 9, and I needed to know the whole thing. Then I will add. All right, cross multiply, and let's say you guys are good from there. 19. Okay, so one of my triangles, I'm going to get 20 and x. Do you guys want x over 20 or 20 over x? x over 20. All right, and x is smaller than 20, right? Make sure you keep the smaller number on top. I'm going to say for my other triangle, one side is 25, and the other side is 36 minus x. I know it looks ugly, 36 minus x, but that's the best we can do. And then I'm going to make my fraction 25 over, um, oh no, never mind, 36 minus x over 25. Because remember how x is smaller than 20, yeah, 36 minus x is smaller than 25. I'm going to simplify first. 20 and 25, I'm going to call those 4 and 5. All right, 20 and 25, I'm going to call those 4 and 5. Okay, now, when I cross multiply, 5 times x is easy, 5x. When I cross multiply the other way, make sure you multiply the 4 to both. 144, yep, 144 minus 4x. 
Remember, make sure you multiply the four to both of those. So 144 minus 4x. The minus 4x, I'm going to move it to the left as the plus 4x. Remember, every time I move something to from one side to the other side, I switch the sign. I get the 9x equals 144. Divide both sides by 9. x equals 16. All right, any questions? 22. All right, let's take a look at 22. From one of my triangles, I'm going to get x and h. Do you want x over h or 8 over x? 8 over x. Okay, make sure on the second triangle you keep the small number on top as well because 8 is smaller than x. I'm going to say for my other triangle, my measurements are 36 and 18. Right, we're good with the 18 where, where I got that from? Okay. All right, so on the other one, I'm going to have 18 over 36. Simplify, cross multiply, and you guys should be good. All right. Any questions? 